You see, the reason why you want to have a landing page is to show people all the cool shit you offer. But if it looks like it was made when the internet became a thing, people will think you're a scam. I noticed Savannah's landing page could use some improvements, so I decided to redesign it entirely. The goal is to make it look premium, boost her digital product sales, and integrate a system that can determine if potential clients are a good fit for her business. So get your popcorn ready because we are going to dive deep into my thought process and hopefully you can learn a thing or two. Or nothing, I mean, if you're bored and got nothing else to do right now, you're more than welcome to stick around. Anyway, let's get to it. If you look closely, she's selling the same thing she's servicing packaged as a digital product. I didn't want to say course because everyone and their grandma seems to have a problem with other people selling education these days, but if you're going to complain, you might as well complain about colleges because they have been banking on education for decades now. <laughs> Speaking of which, you can't find any of these courses on the main page, which was kind of the reason why or what inspired the idea to redesign this entire landing page. All you can see right now is a ready to work together contact button. And when you click on this button, it'll prompt you with a form that only tells you to fill in your name, email, website, and a message. Here's the issue with that. I know for a fact that all of the inquiries that people submit through this form right here, go straight to the email inbox. And the problem with that is these inquiries can get lost in an ocean of emails that we receive on a daily basis. Plus, there's no way to qualify the leads submitting these inquiries in the first place. Which brings me to my next point. Streamlining the backend operations of your agency is a must. And the way you do that is by deploying a system that will not only capture the leads straight from your site, but also let you know if these leads are qualified to work with you or not. There are many ways you can qualify leads, but that is completely subjective and it depends on how you operate your business. So, all right, enough chit chat. I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna redesign the site, create the new offer and create the system while I'm at it. You're my baby. This is the finished landing page. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm pretty hyped about how this turned out. Let's go from top to bottom. So at the very top, we've got the logo, the social Savannah. Now this isn't the logo she's using on her current landing page. Now the reason why I'm not using this logo is simply because it just doesn't fit the whole vibe that I'm going for, which is more of a friendly slash luxury approach. Because if you see her content, you would know that she kind of has like this kind of inviting friendly kind of vibe going to her the code of what ads work the best for meta and so i kind of wanted to reflect that within the landing page without sacrificing the luxury feel right so or that premium feel if you will underneath the logo we've got social proof right here now none of these faces are real or at least from any of the clients she's worked with these are just stock images i found now if you are going to add any social proof to the above the fold section and it's going to include faces you might as well put all the faces from the people you've worked with especially especially if they are recognized within your industry. Underneath the social proof, you've got the headline, which is scaling brands with high converting UGC. Now, if you look at her current landing page, she has no value proposition whatsoever. She just has, hi, my name is Savannah Sanchez. I'm not going to say that you can't get away with it because if you have some sort of influence or you're recognized within a certain industry and people know who you are, then you can kind of get away with it. But for the people that don't know who you are, using the first headline to introduce yourself instead of what you do for other people can do you more harm than good, which is why I changed it to scaling brands with high converting UGC. Now, I did like the sub headline that she has right here. I am a meta and TikTok ad creative expert. I work directly with the top e-commerce brands to get them top tier ad creatives on a weekly basis. This is actually pretty good. I do not have any complaints about this. I did take away all of these social platforms because the last thing you want is for someone to jump inside your landing page and then go to Instagram and then go to Twitter and then do everything but go to the very end, which is a call to action, which is the most important part of your entire landing page. Underneath the sub headline, we've got two call to action buttons. I'm not going to press on them because they're going to redirect me to other places and I want to show you the rest of the page. Underneath the buttons, you've got Savannah herself pointing with her very pixelated fingers to the headline and the sub headline to get people to read it. And behind 
her pixelated fingers, you've got two logos. You've got the TikTok partner logo and the Meta Ads partner logo. Now, none of these are the real logos. These are illustrations I found online and I just added the partner on both of them to let people know that she's actually verified by these companies. The reason why I did this is simply because the logos that she has over here, these badges are so unesthetically pleasing. I did not want to put this anywhere near this landing page because it just, it, it would just been horrible. And now that I'm looking at this with a fresh set of eyes, I would have probably put both of these illustrations kind of like at the bottom right corner here because it's kind of like fighting for my attention. And the last thing you want is for people looking everywhere and you don't want that. So I would definitely move these illustrations and put them at the bottom right corner here. Underneath the above the fold section, you've got more social proof, which is another thing that I would have probably improved here. You want to use as much space as you possibly can in the above the fold section to show people that you are actually legit. And the best way to do that is by showing people these logos right here. So I would have probably put them like right here in this section so that I can see that right from the get go that she's worked with Blendjet and Snow. Following the social proof, you've got the hour process. Now, I did not have the mental bandwidth to come up with a strategic subheadline, but you would definitely want to put something here that kind of dives deeper or kind of like explains further what the process is in a short manner, kind of like how this subheadline does for this main headline. Now for the process itself, I actually took all of the copy from the original landing page. I did not see any issues with this at all. Now I did find that again, too much going on here and I just decided to simplify it and have it, you know, one, two, three straight up in your face. Here's everything you need to know. And that's pretty much it. This is my second favorite section of the entire site. And that is the case studies. Now she does have a case study section on her landing page. But the issue here is when you click on CK study, it'll redirect you to another site or at least TikTok site. The last thing you want to do is not only redirect someone out of your current landing page, but then have them scroll all the way to the bottom and not give them any next steps to follow. Now, full disclosure, I did not write this case study. I had chat GPT write everything for me just so that I can show you the entire page with some examples. If you scroll at the very bottom, you can see the call to action right here. Now, before I explain the call to action, I'm gonna explain this section right here. So as you can see, once you read the entire thing, you have two options. You can either choose a package if you're ready to go and you know start working with Savannah or purchase a course, or you can continue reading more case studies and continue that same loop until they decide to move forward with whatever it is that you're offering them. When you add a digital product component to your current service-based offer, if you're smart, you can create an offer stack that gets people to purchase the offer you want them to purchase. And this is where it gets so incredibly powerful. So right now, if you look at her courses, she's selling three courses right now. She's got the TikTok ads course, the UGC Creator Academy, and very soon she's going to be launching a meta ads course, right? So if you go to the homepage here, I added the first offer to just be the TikTok ads mastery course. Now, right next to the TikTok ads mastery, I created an all access pass offer. The reason I did this is so that she can combine all of the lessons that she's offering within all of her courses in one package for a special price of $9.97. Now, the reason why this is such an attractive offer is because when you compare it against the low-level offer, that's only a $250 difference. Now, for $250 more, they are getting access to $1,600 plus worth of content and education that they can have access to with one single payment of $9.97 instead of paying $1,650. So what's going to happen here is the low-level offer becomes a decoy because why would they pay $750 for only one course when they can get all 134 plus lessons that are well worth over $1,600 for just $9.97. But we're not done yet. This is where it gets even juicier. This package right here is offering you the same solution that the core package offers you. The only difference is that with the service, Savannah does it for you and here you do it yourself. But the end outcome is still the same. The only thing that changes is 
who does what. Now, I can assure you that if you want to work with Savannah, she's charging upwards of $30,000 for these services because content is not cheap. People charge a lot of money for this. What you're doing here is you're completely removing yourself from the service delivery. Now, when you remove yourself from the delivery, you're also removing all the costs associated to deliver that solution. So employees, contractors, all these things, they're gone. And when you deploy an offer stack like this to your business, not only are you going to increase the bottom line of your business, but you're also going to be leaving room for the people that you actually want to work with. Because a lot of people don't work with who they want to work with, like truly, because they need to make ends meet. And the worst way to operate a business is from a position of lack. And you're going to be stuck in this loop of lowering your prices, working with people you really don't like. Creating an offer like this is going to allow you to make enough money so that your business can run on its own and also allow you to charge a premium for your services and only take on people you truly want to work with. And that's how you create a business that you don't ultimately hate. All right, so without further ado, let's get right to it. So if we click on this book, a discovery call button, it's going to redirect you to a discovery form. Now, all the information that passes through this form will go directly to the pipeline and the pipeline will automatically take all this information and qualify the leads for me. Now, the only parameters I gave this pipeline inside of Notion to qualify the leads is if they are making anywhere over $10,000 per month. If they're making any less than that, it's going to give me or mark them as a not qualified lead. If they're making anywhere over 10 grand per month, they are going to be a qualified lead. So let's go ahead and start filling this up. What is the name of your business? Rising e-commerce. What industry is your business operating in? Marketing agency. What is your website? My current site is actually not active. So I'm just going to put this one streamlined systems.io. What is your current monthly revenue? I'm going to click on add. Are you currently running ads? Let's say I am platforms. I'm using Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, and I think Savannah runs on Snapchat as well, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to put that there. What is your monthly ad spend? Let's say I'm spending around 50K per month and I'm making anywhere near, or let's say it's half a million per month. And we have a healthy 70% margin. Now, uh, let's go ahead and click continue. What goals would you like to achieve? I want to make a million dollars per month. What do you believe is the reason why you haven't been able to reach your goal? In this case, I'm just going to type in or select. In this case, everything is good. I'm ready to scale. Let's book a discovery call. Let's say I want to book a call for Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Schedule event. Let's go ahead and go over here to the pipeline. And as you can see, I am now inside of the pipeline marked as a qualified lead. And if you look at the meeting notes right here, you can also access everything that I added inside of the form. So I want to make a million dollars per month with at least 50% margin and everything is good. I'm ready to scale. So we went from redesigning the entire landing page to creating a digital product offer and connecting the entire system to a sales pipeline that automatically qualifies all of the leads for you, which by the way, I highly suggest you take all discovery calls as a matter if your leads are qualified or not, because sometimes there are incredible opportunities that come with working with unqualified leads. Always dig deeper and see why they're unqualified. Don't just let a parameter let you know why you shouldn't work with them because sometimes they might actually just click the wrong button or say something that they didn't mean to say or select an option that they didn't mean to choose, but they chose it anyway. And then your system marked it as unqualified. So always make sure you take every discovery call regardless. Now, I know a lot of you are going to have burning questions about the entire system. So if you want to learn more about how the system works, I made a video going over the entire thing. So if you're interested, you can watch this video here.